Annie woke up from a nightmare and burst into tears. The two of them were holding each other tightly. No one but them knew what had just happened. Only they could rely on each other. Annie sighed that they were back after all. What's next? How do we save them? Was it worth saving? Fierce was disappointed in them all. So he said to Annie sadly. It's alright. We'll get off at the next stop. But Annie was still the same Annie. Still as innocent and kind as ever. Just as they were about to get off. She stopped again. And once again she said the words. <laughs> Annie thought it was worth. She lunged at the old woman and slammed her head into the seat like a basketball. But Annie was no match for the old woman. She flashed her dagger once more. Annie was frozen in fear. But at that very moment of crisis, Mike stepped forward. He blocked the fatal blow for her. A large cut was made on her arm, but it didn't hurt at all. Is this still Mike? How did he suddenly become so strong? He didn't lose any ground against the woman. Killed her right back. He's become a hero. But everyone was frozen. Even the former murderer backed away. Mike was now the devil in everyone eyes. Mike was completely disappointed. He took Annie and walked away. Even when the bomb exploded, he didn't look back. Now they had to run. The two of them caught a train to Anime City. Mike didn't want to drag Annie down. He accused Annie of not following him. All he had to do now was find a place to sleep and move on to the next cycle. But Mike knows it's no use, because even if he went into the next cycle, the memory of his murder would not be erased. And the odds were that there would be no next cycle. And what's worse now is that the police had already locked them up. They're conducting a carpet search. It was only a matter of time before they were found. But the good news is that no one knows them now. They've arrived at Jack's secret base. He had to disinfect the wound. But Jack doesn't have any medical supplies here. And now they're in high spirits. They need some melatonin to get to sleep. But it's too dangerous out there. Mike didn't want to put Annie at risk. At the end of the day, Annie saw the clothes on the side. And a thought struck her. She was transformed into a little fairy. She went straight to the pharmacy. She was checking out when she saw the news that they were wanted. And she used a handful of coins to settle the bill. And and the owner became suspicious of her. On the way back, Annie also bumped into the Zhang team. By now they were traced. Annie rushed back to the secret base, telling Mike he had to move to another location now. But the police soon found them. After a search, Jack's room had been found. But thankfully, Mike had already moved on. After she had bandaged his wounds, Annie took her melatonin. Then she poured half of it for Mike. But Mike hesitated, because he saw that the game company he'd set up with his buddies was being reviled by the internet. The reason Mike became a terrorist was because of violent games. Mike decided to do something about it. So they went to his buddy's house in the dark. Unbeknownst to them, his buddy had already been informed by the police. They told him to call the police as soon as he saw Mike. But he didn't betray Mike. And Mike came here to apologize to his mate. Because the game he had made had too much violence in it. Now he realizes what a terrible thing it was, and asked his buddy to kick him off the team, so that the game they made wouldn't be negatively affected by himself.